And in terms of the availability of products, 71% of the sampled uh, 110 uh, filling stations out of the 614, 71% had uh, both products. In other words, they were selling diesel as well as uh, petrol. 25% of them were selling either of the two products, that is uh, either diesel or petrol. The only percentage of filling stations that had no products, in other words, they had stocked out, were only 4%. So that's basically in terms of the status. And I should hasten to mention here that uh, the supply of petroleum products is a continuous supply chain. So even as uh, I speak to you right now, we have uh, diesel, most of it being brought into the country via the pipeline, Tazama, which is pumping at the highest rates ever seen before. Then we have part of the products coming into the country, that is diesel, using the road transport. All the petroleum products basically do come into the country using road transport. At this point, we are working with all the other government agencies to ensure that we have a stable, continuous uh, supply chain. We are working with uh, uh, RATSA, we are working with ZRA, and from the ERB, we continue to provide the regulatory oversight and monitoring using the national stock monitoring system. Uh, what it is right now is that uh, from the ERB perspective, we've licensed the uh, importers to be able to move up until 22 hours, and RATSA also has given permission for the transporters or importers to indeed go beyond the 22 hours.